Okay, today I just want to show you you can dimension 3D in 3D, and uh, I'm going to get straight to it, and this is just a, a, a wall with a floor and a, a sink with some plumbing on it, and I'm just going to dimension a few things, but first I want to turn this wall into a, show you the parts, and it's just a basic brick exterior wall, and um, I'm just going to come over here and create parts. Where's it? I want to uh, there it is. show shape handles, which just gives me this option, and that's what those are. They're just these little arrows. That would be your shape options, and you can actually size this stuff down. Well, let's get that one first. I just want to size all these, just sort of to demonstrate this. Boom. And if you want to to mention that and be able to put it on a sheet this is how you would do that you would you would just come down here and press it and then save orientation and lock view and you can just name it whatever I'm just gonna leave it with that I don't need anything specific and just press OK oh yeah we need to get rid of these it's okay and now if you scroll down into 3d views it should be right here and it's not going to let you rotate it or, or anything then you can do You can do uh, multiple views too. And it's generated a new one. But you can do multiple different views and different different things. But let's let's go back to that. And then you can you can change you can do hidden line, but if we if we tag it, which we'll go to annotate tag pack category. What is it uh what is it? Um no no it material tag, that's what it is. So you can see here that you can tag everything. So you can annotate it and whatnot. And you can also tag these materials and different things. So it does come in pretty handy. And this is, and here I want to put it on a sheet. Just a standard sheet. I mean, just like any other view, you can just pull it over. And anything changed in the model also changes in that too, so be aware of that. But you can go to the model and unlock the view. And look at it 
you can just re you can just restore the orientation of Lockview, and it'll bring up your annotations.